peace. Peace out. Peace be with you. Peace on earth. I think the older I get, the more at peace I am with things. Some things I try to change. Some things I have to roll off and just be at peace. But that's the way they are. My wife and I had a date weekend this weekend. We went to dinner, mystery dinner, uh, on Friday. And on Saturday, we went down to Marion to see the Christmas concert with uh, new song Jeremy Camp. So we get ready to leave, and we left early enough to go down to Marion and eat. So we get down there and drive through, and she likes to eat at Red Lobster, so we rent the Red Lobster. So it was like 20 minutes for a table. And we're like, okay, no big deal, 20 minutes. So we sat there, got our table, ordered the food, had the biscuits, the cheddar biscuits, you know. So we're eating some of them, and we noticed a family of four come over. They get seated, sit across the way. We were eating our biscuits, and we noticed food came out for the family of four. So I'm like, okay. So now we're on our second basket of biscuits. <laughs> we like the biscuits. So another 20 minutes goes on, and we, now we have to leave at a certain time to make this concert, right? So the wife says to me, well, you better eat another biscuit because I don't think we're going to have time to eat. And she was right. Time has come and we had to go. But instead of getting heating, heated up and letting it ruin our evening, we laughed about it as we were walking out. We laughed on the way to the concert. Who's ever got to eat free cheddar biscuits at Red Lobster? <laughs> That was the cheapest Red Lobster visit we've ever had. <laughs> oh. And don't worry, when we got to the concert, we got snacks. Because <laughs> we were going to eat something. You see, we found peace in all this because we were together. And we weren't going to let this ruin our evening. So I looked up a quote and by all peoples, from Jimi Hendrix, but uh, it, it, it rang true for me. It said, when the power of love overcomes the power, the love of power, the world will know peace. Let me read that again because I messed that one up. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. And when I read that, it kind of says this to me. Submit to love and you will have peace. And Jesus is love. So you might not have peaceful encounters or peaceful circumstances, but if we truly believe in Jesus Christ, that he was sent from above to die for our sins and rose again, then in Jesus we all have to have truth and peace. Just a couple of announcements.